Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't even say hi to me. Say hi to me. Nah. Hey, can I get you? Hey, can I get you? <laughs> hey, can I get your number? My best bet was that mother, and that was just my only chance. Every other girl, I didn't have a chance at all. So let's let's try somewhere else. Hi, how's it going? Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name's Emerald. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's nice okay. to meet you, Sam. What are you up to? I'm about to leave. To where? Can I have your phone number? May I, maybe I could take you out for some coffee. Oh, that would be really sweet, but I actually have a boyfriend. You do? Right. Well, I'll take it as a compliment. Okay, thank All you right. so much. Take have care. A day, guys. Bye. Bye. I am having the worst luck today. Like, this is ridiculous. Watch out, you're gonna get hit by, don't get hit by a car now. Honestly, I'm having a bad time picking up chicks with this car. Yeah, what's up, how you doing? What's your name? Yeah, Angelica. Yeah. Have you ever seen an Audi R8 before? No, I didn't. Why are you la why why are you laughing at me? Because <laughs> you're you're acting like I don't know about cars. Oh, uh, so you're really like. I really like it. Yeah. I just got it not too long ago. Um. You know, I never had a girl in it before, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just oh like, you probably you probably have a boyfriend, huh? I do. Oh, sh they always have boyfriends. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would let you sit on <laughs> sit on it. I would let you. Oh my God. <laughs> I would let you sit in it and everything. But you know, your boyfriend probably wouldn't like that. But, probably. Yeah, uh, but. It's nice though. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Oh, you're back. Yeah. That was fast. I know. <laughs> wait, wait, what'd you say? Can I go inside? Really? Do you think do you think your boyfriend would like that? I mean, I'm just going inside the car. I'm not doing anything. I mean, yeah, I don't. There's nothing wrong with that. But if your boyfriend was here, and he saw you going in the car, would he be upset? No. Yeah, yeah, you could you could sit in it like, you could sit on it. I mean, in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So this is the whip. It's uh, you know, it's all I got. No, you got. <laughs> It's all I got, girl. You like fast cars? Do you mind taking a picture of me in it? One, two, three. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. You mm -hmm. sure? Yeah. I mean, drive your car. I like really want to drive it. You want to drive it? I don't know. I mean, can you drive good? Yeah, I mean, I haven't crashed before. That's your that's your car, right? That's my let car, me yeah. let's check. Let's come here. Let's let me check. Wait, day. I actually don't have a boyfriend. You don't? No. I why don't. why did you lie? Cause, I don't know, I just always say I do because some guys are just... Uh, Is that how girls really are? Like, they're kind of like protective, so like... Yeah. Myth or fact? Okay. Cars attract women, like a lot of women. If you have a nice car, you're gonna get a lot of women. Myth. It's a massive myth. Yeah. And everyone thinks, just because you have this crazy no. car collection, oh my God, someone, someone uh, messaged me the yeah. other night and goes like, my God, man. With all those cars and your house and where you live and what you do, yeah. you would be getting girls left and right. You should have just said yeah. And, and he goes, how do you deal with having a wife? And my wife was next to me when I opened it. She started dying laughing. She goes, yeah. Only yeah. she knows the truth. She goes, yeah, you're yeah. so hot. You're going to get all these girls. I was like, damn. Damn, when your she wife, knows the truth. When your wife makes oh, fun no. of you that you can't get girls, you oh, know that that's... Man. That's it. No, you know what? The more you flex with a nice car, the worse, the worse it is. Absolutely. The worse it is. Part two. So this video, I did a part one yesterday and I got an interesting comment from Derek Franks. Derek Franks disagrees. He says, this is a bunch of crap. Look at all those jocks and rappers. This is not true. So I responded and said, did you miss the part about the gold diggers? And then I also I mentioned about prostitutes and models who are paid. So let's talk about that. So there's actually a list on the richest.com of the top 15 celebrity gold diggers. Spears, Tracy Edmonds, Vanessa Bryant, Crystal Harris, Kimora Lee Simmons. So Just.com has 11 celebrities who are notorious gold diggers. Courtney Love, Amy Irving, Gabriel Aubrey, Oksana Grigorieva? Grigorieva? I don't know how to say that. Heather Mills, Kevin Federline, 
Amber Rose. Kimora Lee Simmons, yet again. Gold diggers galore. Gold diggers over here. Gold diggers over there. Okay, so if you listen to part one, I was very specific that gold diggers are the exception. Yes, if you drive a nice car, you can have all the gold diggers you want. But what I also said is there's simply not enough of them for it to be worth the expense. Think about spending $3,000 a month or more on an exotic car so that you can once in a while, maybe once a month, once every two months, once every three months, bump into a gold digger who happens to know you have a nice car. We'll get into that later on in the video and jumps all over you because you got money and she's a gold digger. There's simply not enough of them unless you're a celebrity. You see, that's the thing I think that is wrong with the individual that was challenging the point that I was making in the video. You have to understand, he mentions about jocks, and I think he said celebrities. Those guys live in a different world from you. You can't compare their lifestyles and, and the way things work for them to your experience. You as a regular person cannot pull gold diggers like a celebrity or a jock can simply because you have a really nice car. Now, again, I pointed this out in the last video, it's more about your game. So yes, if you've got good game and you have a really nice car, you can certainly get a lot of women. But it's not because of your car, it's because of your game, your personality, your confidence, your looks. The car is the bonus. Yes, some of the women that that guy with a lot of game will be gold diggers, but I'm pretty sure a majority of them will not be. Most of them will just be women who fall for the games, right? You're able to seduce them and with your whatever it is, the way that you talk to them and you're able to essentially get them to allow you to essentially use them. Because if you're thinking about getting women using your car or your money, then you're definitely talking about using these women. Now, when I say using them, I mean dealing with a gold digger, they're using you as well. They're using you for money, you're using them for sex, kind of sounds like prostitution, but the point of the matter is that you're both using each other. And again, in general, someone who's looking for a serious relationship is not going to be interested or focused on or thinking about how many women you can attract with your car and with your money, right? You're gonna be looking for someone who is attracted to you and who you are as a person. But if you're just looking for fun and you're looking for, I'm gonna have this sort of cheat code, my nice car and all these girls are gonna to flock to me, then you're not really looking at those women seriously. So you're, you're really using them. And even if it's a mutual thing, it is what it is and I'm calling it like it is. So one of the key differences between a celebrity and just a regular person with a fancy car is once you are a celebrity, again, you're living in a completely different world. That world revolves around everybody. I don't mean that literally, but everybody is trying to get at you. So it's not just like you get the cars and then all these women flock to you, no. When you are a big celebrity and you've got money, you're gonna have everybody flocking to you. You're gonna have family members that weren't paying attention to you, all of a sudden wanna pay attention to you. You're gonna have people that used to be your friends that now wanna be your friends again. You're gonna have people coming, oh, you know, I have this business plan, check it out. You're gonna have women who are trying to, well, by women, I mean gold diggers coming at you. You will become a target. If you are a celebrity and you have a lot of money, you will be a target. People all over the place, left and right, are going to be trying to take advantage of you. So yes, you will see celebrities and jocks who have a lot of women who they can get, and part of it is the car. But even in that sense, I don't think the car is still a major part of it. Let's think about it. If you're a major celebrity, do you think you're not going to get women because you drive a Honda Accord? Now, let's just be logical. So you are a major NFL star and you drive a Honda Accord. Do you honestly think you're not going to have a bunch of gold diggers all over you? 
I'm sorry, you will, because essentially they're after the money, not the car. Even when you're dealing with a celebrity who has nice cars and all this kind of money, they're not dating them because of the car, they're dating them because of the money. The car doesn't really do much for them, what does for them is the money and also the status, right? So the money means you can buy them a car so they can get the car that they want because that's what they care about is their car that they get to drive that's theirs, not your car. Your car is great for you, not so much for them. The only way it's great for them is the image and status. But you get the image and status from dating a celebrity, not from, oh, he drives a nice car. I mean, yes, driving a nice car, that's great for the, for, for, for the, you know, the picture, right? Paparazzi, look at you coming out the Bugatti. But the thing about it is that ultimately, coming out of a Honda Accord, with an, an NFL star like around your arms or in your arms rather I don't know if you can have someone around your arm that is what matters to women like this you honestly think that a woman's not going to be dating a major NFL star and they're going to have an issue I'm not saying they won't say anything about it they're going to have an issue with the fact that you drive a Honda Accord I'm sorry you're wrong about that they will post up on Instagram, look at me. Let's say Floyd Mayweather wasn't into cars, right? Look at me hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. That's going to go up on the gram, right? This is me. I'm chilling with Floyd Mayweather. What is the big attraction? The car? No. It's the money and the status, right? So yes, you will see celebrities with lots of women, but again, it's still not even in that case because of the cars. You see, we gotta get out of this idea. We as, as car enthusiasts and, and, and just men in general, we have this preoccupation with cars similar to how many women will be with purses or shoes. I hate that we have to explain stuff all the time, but I know some people will say, women aren't just about purchases of shoes. Yes, I know that. You have people like Supercar Blondie, for example, that is genuinely into cars right but the point of it is that the traditional thing or the traditional focus for many women are going to be things like shoes and purses there are exceptions but that's pretty typical just like with guys it's cars you have hardcore car enthusiasts and then you have guys who are just the macho thing and what do you want to call it that they generally you know machines and and cars and speed and adrenaline that's kind of goes with being a guy so we have this preoccupation with cars you got to appreciate that for most women they don't have that so even when they may seem to be paying attention to a guy because of the car it's not because of the car it's because of the wealth that the car represents because ultimately a gold digger is interested in things for herself not for you she doesn't benefit from you driving a nice car she benefits from her driving a nice car that you buy for her or she benefits the status of being seen in the nice car being driven by a big celebrity right that is what the attraction is but now let's go down to and we'll, there's something else I want to cover we're gonna talk about the prostitutes and models in the end of this but I want to talk about something else like let's you gotta you gotta look at this practically and I know I learned a lot of these advertisers and car manufacturers, they got you all twisted up with this idea of cars bringing women. But let's, let's get down into the other perspective. You've got to try to put yourself in the actual real life scenario and see how it plays out. And if you do that, you'll see it fails. So here's the deal. So let's say you have 10 Lamborghini Aventadors, right? You got all these different colors, whatever the deal. But you got 10 Lamborghini Aventadors completely paid off, whatever. Think about how that's gonna help you to get women. I know in general, of course, because they're gonna see all these cars and blah, blah, blah. How are they gonna see those cars? Like, let's go to some practical scenarios. How would a random woman know that you have 10 Aventadors? Perhaps you could mention it on a date, right? By the way, I have 10 Lamborghini Aventadors. First of all, that's not good game, right? That is not good game unless you're trying to attract a gold digger. To go bragging about how many cars you have, many women would actually find that to be insulting. 
right? What is it? And what is the context of the conversation? You're at a dinner on your first date, second date, whatever it is. And by the way, I have 10 uh, Aventadors. Or are you going to show a picture of your garage? Oh, check out my garage. Like, really? But before you could even do that, you've got to be able to get on a date in the first place to be able to have the situation where you could present these cars that you have. How are you going to get on the first date? without game which is ultimately what i said matters the most you have to have enough game to be able to get a woman to go out with you so that you can then present all of these cars or whatever but again that's not really going to work out it would have to be at a point where you've been dating for a while and then you invite them over to your house and then on the way at the house i mean you know you park in your garage and there's all these lamborghinis and it's kind of like whoa but at that point, <laughs> she's at your house. You already got her at your house. And you didn't do that with all these cars. You weren't presented with an opportunity that made sense for you to sort of brag or show off that you had these cars. So having a bunch of cars isn't really going to help you. And then you think about, again, how does the car get you the date? So you're just driving down the street and you get your Lamborghini Aventador and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna see an attractive woman at the uh, at the light, and you're gonna you're just gonna stop and be like, "Hey, baby, whatever, whatever." Uh, overall, yeah, I can. Uh, you wanna hang out tonight? Everything? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have a seat. I close the door. You can check it out. You know, feel free at home. Yeah. Hey, Allah Basha. Hamalaka. I apologize. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, he's uh, he's my uh, boss. I'm sorry. What are you doing in this oh, car? Oh, you work there? I'm I'm just looking Maybe it's your stuff. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You please step out for one second, yeah, yeah. please. I'm sorry. Get out of the car. He uh uh Bala Salah Hadra. Shabala. Bala Salah Hadra. If LA lot under the traffic. Can you put this in the car, please? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I need to apologize to you for earlier. Uh, for what? I I know I was I was in a bad mood earlier and I was a little bit rude to you. Um, do you still want my number? Wait, I thought you have a boyfriend. It, no, I, it's not that serious. Uh, it looked pretty serious to me though. I, I, do you want my number still or no? Okay, just put it down. Put down your number. Sorry, Can, Habibi. Sorry. Abala. Can you come over here for a second, please? What was your name again? Oh, my name is Logan. What's Logan, your name? my name is Ahmed. You haven't heard of me. <laughs> no. I'm the no. prince of Dubai. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, can, I'm really sorry about yeah, can I take a quick picture of yeah, you? Of course. I just want to show my friends what a gold digger looks like. Gold digger? Alaba, get in. You're a gold digger. I think you should go back to your boyfriend. Have fun. <laughs> like, that's a very intimidating situation for many women. They don't know who you are. You're just randomly showing up in your car, and they're also going to look at it as you probably think that I'm supposed to talk to you because you're driving this nice car, and that's offensive to me. I am I am better than that. You cannot simply dangle your money in front of my face and I'm going to automatically. So the way that that would work, and I'm not, I'm not saying you couldn't do that. Yes, you could do that if you had the game. If you had good game, then yes, you could pull up at a light and you could smooth talk a woman and make her feel comfortable enough that she gives you her number. If you're really good, she might even get in the car, but that's all game. That's not the car. If you don't have the game, you can pull up in a nice car. She is going to laugh at you. She's not going to get in the car with you. She's probably not going to give you her phone number. The game is what comes first. The car is only the bonus. So that is one of the most likely scenarios where you would have to be able to show your car and use it as bait to sort of get a woman to talk to you or something like that. And as you can see, it just doesn't really work. So how else are you gonna use this car? Because again, to use a car, you need for women to know you have these cars. And the main way that you would be interacting with women with your car is random strangers on the street who are not gonna be conducive to talking to you because they don't know you. And then the fact that you have this car, are you a drug dealer? Like, what's your deal? Like, there's a lot of stuff going on that the woman, woman's gonna think. 
she needs to have a certain comfort level or you need to be particularly skilled with how you speak. So what's another scenario? Like how would you be able to utilize this car to get women? Now, I think I mentioned in the last video, it depends on the age group. So if you're dealing with a woman who is 22 or under, then there's lots of scenarios that actually make sense. If you're in high school and you roll up in a Lamborghini, you're gonna get the girls, right? Because you're talking about girls, children, right? At that level, you can do that because that's the level that girls are at. They're not women yet. Women, it's the problem, unless they're gold diggers. Children, no big issue. Teenagers, no big issue. Even young, let's say 19, 20, 21, 22, still very young. Just come this at this point, in, you know, this is a, a girl that is just coming into her womanhood and, and being a woman and getting that level of just digging a little bit deeper than I want to date the cool guy in school. Like that's high school. Once you get out of high school, that's going to fade real quick. So high school and college, those are the main elements where that actually would make sense outside of the gold digger world. When you're dealing with girls and young women that are that young, then yes. And also it's not just because of the age as well, it's also the circumstance. You can roll up to high school in a nice car. You can roll up to college, depending on how big the college is, in a nice car where people see you and they're aware that you have this nice car. That's a really, really young type of scenario. But for most adults, that's simply not the case. Where are you going to be in a social element where people can see you having this nice car and well, women can see you having this nice car and then be like, I'm gonna try to talk to that guy, he's got a nice car. I mean, the only place that people are gonna see you with your car, again, it's gonna be strangers, random strangers, random places at a restaurant or wherever it is, where again, your game is gonna be important or it's gonna be where you live. And a lot of times, unfortunately, it depends on where you live, but a lot of neighborhoods are just very community. The community element is not very strong in a lot of modern neighborhoods where you may not even know your neighbor. So the idea of you being this, you know, women in your neighborhood know you have this nice car and then they're going to see you at the local, I don't know what, the local uh, theater or at the, uh, the laundromat or, or at the grocery store and be like, that's that guy with that whatever. Like, that's just not how it works unless you're in a really, really small town. So I will say, let's make small town an exception. If you're in a really small town where having a nice car has that kind of visibility that you're known in the town to be the guy that drives a Lamborghini, then yes, in that situation, there'll be a lot of potential opportunities even beyond the gold digger. Because if you're known as the guy who is wealthy and has you know a lot of money, you're driving a nice car, you've already gotten the attention of a lot more females than if you didn't have that nice car and didn't have that reputation. So they're at least even looking at you. So if you have some kind of decent personality, you have a good sense of humor, and you happen to, see, even then, you still need to be, to, to break that barrier. You need to be seen on a regular basis. Like there's some bowling alley or some place where they constantly see you so they can get a sense, just like in college and high school, where they can get a sense of who you are and what you're about and start building something up, you know, casual conversation, and then, you know, you bumped at them a few times and, and more, more time you talk, they, they talk more to you and one thing leads to the next, blah, blah, blah. But if you're in a big city, a big area, Los Angeles, New York City, Miami, that's simply not the way things work. Unless you're going to try to, but see, that comes to celebrity. If you're going to try to, you know, post a lot of stuff on Instagram with your car and get a lot of followers, well, you see, get a lot of followers, the big part, because if you got a, a nice car on your Instagram, but you don't have a lot of followers, then it's kind of not really doing much for you. But if you can get a large following because you have this car, but then that, again, that's getting into the fame, which I said before, once you're on that level, even on a Instagram fame level, then it's really your fame that's getting you to be a target of a lot of people, including women. But for a regular average person who doesn't have a major following, you're not a celebrity, women. Now the final element that I wanna talk about is the, uh, the prostitutes and models. 
a lot of these celebrities, a big part of their business is status, especially when we talk about rappers. So that's why you will see, well, one of the many reasons, you see a lot of rented cars, rented mansions, rented women, whether it's prostitutes, whether it's trophy wives or trophy girlfriends, where you have even fake arrangements where it's business arrangements, you're a really hot model, I need a hot model, which will help my image or whatever it is. And I mean, they're not gonna say it like that, but they'll make an arrangement where the woman will essentially pretend to be your girlfriend and you get photographed and walking around and she's not really your girlfriend. They may not even be sex involved. It's all about image, fake relationships, fake marriages, prostitutes. There's even models where they'll, they'll hire models. So you see them with all these girls, but the girls are all being paid. So it's not because they have nice cars while those girls are there. Those girls are hired and they're doing their job, what they've been hired to do, which is to be eye candy for the rich. When you even get to the level of billionaire, then you start getting into contracts. They're literally women who are under contracts. It's like a contracted, I don't even know if they would, would even go to the level of like a marriage, but there'll be a relationship that's under contract. And the woman will be you know, supermodel, whatever it is, and she's living this great life. She's on the yachts and all that kind of stuff, but it's all business. The woman did not come to them because they had a nice boat or car. No, the guy pursued them and utilized his wealth to arrange this business arrangement where the woman would fulfill whatever the need is, and it could be sex, it could be just eye candy, it could be just for the image, whatever it is. The guy puts up the right price, and the woman's like, cool. So still, the car was not the reason that the women are there. If you disagree with me, comment below and explain to me how I'm wrong. But I'm telling you right now, nice cars are not the way to get Women do not flock to you because you have a nice car. If you're super attractive and you're driving a nice car, you're again living in a different world where certain rules don't apply to you. Because I can guarantee you, if you are what women consider to be super, super hot and you're driving a really nice car, you will have women flock to you. But again, it's still not the car that's bringing them. They see you and they're mesmerized by how you look and the car is the icing on the whole cake. But for the average guy, when I say average, you could be looking pretty good. A lot of women may look at you and say, you're very handsome, you're very attractive, but you're not on that level where, there's a level where you get to where, same thing for women, where it's like, you're in a whole different universe. I've even seen that personally for me with women. I've seen a lot of attractive women, models, all this kind of stuff. And maybe in my lifetime, I bumped into two or three women that were so hot that it's just my normal self-control and, and all that kind of stuff kind of goes out the window. That's extremely rare, especially for someone like me. But there is a level of attractiveness where you're in, you're in a whole different ball game. Same thing applies to guys. But generally speaking, driving around a nice car is not going to do it. You disagree? Comment below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. And until the next episode, this is part two of Fancy Cars are not going to get you women. You need to have game.